how's it going? I'm so glad that you're back. I am really excited about this video because we're talking about Everlane and we are talking about how to wear a denim skirt four ways. Specifically, we're going to be talking about how to style Everlane's denim skirt in four different ways using all Everlane pieces. It's kind of an Everlane review mashup, if you will. Hopefully this video is going to help you get ready for fall and kind of teach you some basics about how to style pieces that are transitional from summer to fall. This is the skirt we're actually going to be talking about today. It is their denim skirt in 100% cotton and it is the vintage blue wash that is cut off hem. And it was released this year in 2018 for summer, spring, summer, and it has just been a huge seller. I really think they're going to be restocking and hopefully reproducing that design for February and then spring of next year of 2019. So keep a lookout for the different washes. Probably they're going to be doing stretch again um, because they just released stretch denim and so they're probably going to make stretch denim skirts but for right now these are 100% cotton and they are wonderful. Here is the stretch, the Pima cotton scoop neck three quarter length. I love this piece so much. As you can see, I got it in a small. I just love the quality of the material. It says that it's black, but to me, it kind of reads midnight. It's almost navy, almost black. So it goes really well with, um, you know, classic colors like red and white and light blue. It goes amazingly well with denim. And when you pair it with other blacks, it does show that it's kind of an off color black. It's not a true black, which doesn't bother me at all. Uh, the scoop neck is incredibly flattering. It, this is body contouring material, so if you're not comfortable showing off every curve of your body, then this may not be the top for you. But I think that if you are comfortable in this kind of body contour look, it's really flattering. I'm wearing a pair of espadrilles that I got at the thrift store, which you could easily find on Amazon or anything like that, and I'll link some examples in the blog post that go along with the video. And by the way, all of the pieces that I am describing and modeling for you, I will link in the blog post and in the description box so that you can check those out for yourself. The next outfit that I'm wearing is basically identical to the first. It's just that I saw Everlane released a new micro rib Pima cotton uh, t-shirt, but it's in a cool kind of like very, very modest v-neck and I just thought it was really sexy and pretty despite being a, you know, a full sleeve, full length top. I would say definitely order true to size. If you go up a size, it's going to be too big. The thing is, is that if you order below your size, it's not going to make a huge difference. So I accidentally ordered the extra small, but for me, I still felt that it was a little bit too tight around the armpits. It's just a solid piece. I highly recommend it. They make it in three colors. And if you were the kind of person that wanted a capsule wardrobe where everything was interchangeable and you didn't have to worry about matching things up and you just wanted stable pieces for the rest of your life, I would say order one or two in every color. That way you are just set for life and you'll feel great about it. You can see that I'm wearing a pair of red leather woven flats. I actually got these flats from the thrift store. They're vintage Cole Haan. They're handmade woven red leather and I love the look of them because they're very comfortable and minimal looking. Uh, very simple when paired with the right garments. Now you could find something similar through Everlane and I've only heard good reports about their shoes, though I've never purchased them myself. However, I hear great things and they make several different styles of flats that I think would pair nicely with any of these outfits. The third piece that I want to talk about is this beautiful striped top. It is very boxy and I have seen this top from Everlane marked on sale a couple times. It is just classic 100% cotton. It's kind of got that fisherman style. It's very nautical. And I think that that can be a really flattering look on you. I tend to have, you know, a bit broader shoulders and some people may not like the way that that looks on them, but I'm okay with it. I do think, however, that it can, that boxy shape can make you look a little wide from the side. And that's the only thing that I'm not loving about this top 
I tend to go with more form-fitted things because I find that they flatter my figure better. So that is a personal choice. The skirt does go well with this. Again, I'm thinking for the skirt, I will probably have to size down. I ordered a 27, which is what I wear in jeans. Sometimes I wear 28, 29, 27, depending on the brand. And I'm nervous that if I get a size smaller in this skirt, it's going to be not cool. <laughs> I'm afraid it's actually going to be way too short and way too snug because even when trying to put the denim skirt on, because it's 100% cotton, I have to really squeeze it up over my hips. And I'm really not sure that it's going to be a winner in the long run, but I'm hoping that when I can order the next size down, it could possibly work. So I will keep you updated on that. The shoes that I'm wearing with this outfit are actually Swedish clogs. They are one of my favorite pairs of shoes. I've ordered from this company a couple of times. The reason I love these is that they are high quality, they're handmade, they are biodegradable because all the materials are natural and they're very affordable, at least in my book, because they're under $100 on Amazon and typically what you'll see with clogs, especially Swedish husbands, um, number six, you know, those brands, they run in the two to three, sometimes even $400 range, which to me is, you know, that is a whole other investment. You know, that is a, a wardrobe a couple times over in my book. So for me, waiting and saving up a little bit to invest in a hundred dollar pair of shoes, you know, $98, $85 around that range is totally doable. Now, don't get me wrong. I know that that's not everybody's budget, but I think it's totally possible to save up to buy something that's high quality and gonna last you a long time. So for me, that's affordable and I love these clogs. They're Mojeda and I will definitely link them in the description below and in the blog post. The final thing that I wanna talk about today is actually this V-neck cashmere and wool blended sweater. It is kind of cropped with a drop shoulder. Now, I don't know that Everlane is actually still producing this sweater, but I wanted to show you how to style it just because I see that they have some new styles coming out on their website. I'm really excited about trying. You may not naturally think to pair a sweater with a denim cutoff skirt, uh, but in the fall, that can be totally doable. The shoes in this outfit are super cute. They are Supergas, they're the black Supergas. I got them on Amazon on sale because I love deals and they're very comfortable flat shoes. All in all, I would say the skirt is a must. However, proceed with a little bit of caution because of the sizing. Now, here's my final thought. With cotton, you can shrink it, but these days most garments are made with material that is pre-shrunk. So even if I threw this in the wash on hot and dried it on hot, it would shrink. It definitely would, but that wouldn't change the cut of the skirt. Denim skirts like this are notorious for rising up on the waist, and so with no stretch whatsoever to cling to your body, it's gonna be kind of a challenge, I think, to keep it in the right place and keeping all of your undergarments and your tops and stuff like that feeling comfortable. If you can go ahead and grab your own, I would love to know. Or if you have this skirt in a different wash, I would love to know what your thoughts are on the skirt itself or on other places where I can find a denim skirt like this. Anyhow, that's my review, and hopefully a few of these styles have inspired you to try something new for fall. And if you have any questions about these styles, definitely let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you'd like me to cover next. Just as a reminder, all of these pieces are gonna be linked in my blog post, so be sure to check that out. The link is in the description box below. Plus, you can visit Everlane's website, also linked below, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.